Hi guys! Today I kind of, you know, want to talk to you a little bit about snake genetics. If you don't like snakes and stuff like that, maybe you should watch another video of mine. Because this is a bit more about snakes than I usually talk about. I don't think I've ever talked about snakes. I might have. But I don't think so. Alright, well, go ahead. So I'm going to use my panda notebook where I wrote down all of my snake genetic seat, genetic -y stuff. If you do like snakes, well, you're in luck. There's not going to be really a real snake in today's video, but it's going to be talking about snake genetics. Alright, so, first of all, here I'm going to talk to you about a single genetic. So, if your snake is albino, the albino causes an absence of the pigmentation melanin, which is basically the black color. So you take away all the black, all of it. No more black. And, all right, let's see the next one. Exanthic. It restricts yellow pigmentation. That would mean it takes away all the yellow, all the yellow colors. Because, well, that's just how it is. So the yellow, so the exanthic would take away all the yellow colors. All right, let's see what the next one is. I better go. <laughs> okay. Here. All right. So, aertheristic would take away all the red pigmentation, which takes away no more red. Bye-bye, red. Let's see. White-sided. If your snake is white-sided, well, you guessed it. They have white sides. Oh, and just to mention, this is bull snake genetics. Some genetics for other snakes might be different. So this is bull snake, bull, bull snake genetics. If your snake is patternless, you also guessed it. No pattern. If your snake is hypo, it means le less of black and less and more yellow. So it's not like albino. So albino takes away all of the black. So then you have red eyes and then oh, and a red tongue. But the hypo, it keeps the black tongue and black eyes. So it's less of it, not completely out of it, and more of yellow. Now, now, how about we talk about um, bull snake genetics, but there's still going to be bull snake genetics, but there's two of them combined. So if you have a snake that is albino and white-sided, then you will have a false snow. If you have a trombower hypo and white-sided, you're going to have a false ghost, also known as ivory. If you have an albino trombile hi hypo, trombile, blah, trombower hypo, you're going to have a hybino or a sun glow. I don't like to say sun glow ah, because, well, you'll see in a minute. And also, you can have a hypo and exanthic as a true ghost. But you could also have a albino and exanthic which would be a true ghost. Now, I mean, true snow, true snow, sorry. But now, the reason I said I don't like calling um, albino and trombauer hypo, hi, uh, so which, do, which is hybino, but also known as sun glow, is because a hypo patternless, so we're going to three genes, um, with, still with bull, bull snakes, um, if you have a hypo patternless and albino, that's a sun glow. So I don't know why they called a high bino a sun glow too, because there's already two sun glows. But guys, if that's if that's wor if that's horrible, like just hard to remember, well, it's worse. It can get worse. So a exanthic white sided and albino can be a blizzard. But wait, a hypo albino and exanthic can also be a blizzard. And a white-sided 
from our hypo and albino can also be a blizzard. <sighs> no, but it gets worse. Now we're going on to four Gs. That's, this is the last one I can cover because I don't know any more yet. But if you have a patternless, albino, exanthic, and white sided, that's also a blizzard, which makes sense because with the exanthic, white sided, and albino, so exanthic, exanthic takes away all the yellow. So now we only have black, red, orange, and those colors that are not yellow. A white sided it has white sides and it's albino, so it's pretty white. And a um a hypo. Hypo takes away has less of black and more yellow, but I'll and then exam it as albino too, which is takes away all of the black, and then exanthic takes away takes away all the yellow. So we have a pretty white thing, and the white sided white sides. It's Trumbauer hypo, so it has less of black and more yellow and albino which takes away all the black, so it's also a blizzard. And the last one I'm gonna cover is patternless, no pattern. Albino, takes away all the black and keeps the yellow coloration you know. And the red, yellow, and those colors. But it doesn't just, uh, um, so the albino doesn't only take away black, it takes away dark colors, like black, gray, and brown. Exanthic, it takes away all of the yellow, and then it has white sides. So it's basically a pretty white snake. So I think that kind of makes sense why, but still. It's just still. I, it's just, I think they should call it differently so you can kind of understand better. But that's all I can cover for today because I don't know any more genes. But... Um, and also, I'm, so if, if you want, I mean, I think, so I think you should watch Snake Discovery. Snake Discovery is a great YouTube channel, and I really do think you should watch it. If you already do, then great. I really like it. I learned, I learned mostly everything about snakes in Snake Discovery, because all I knew, I learned all these genetics in there, too. The only thing I knew about snakes is they hiss. They can constrict. Some of them might have venom and they slither. That's basically everything I knew. That's all I knew. So, Snake Discover really taught me a lot about snakes. Now, bye. Ah, wait. Let me put this in here so I can open my notebook after. All right, so really hope you enjoyed today's video. And we're really close to Thanksgiving, so... Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and give a big old thumbs up. Bye.